Gotta put the stand light on. Mm -hmm. It's on. It's on. Hi everybody, it's great to be with you tonight. My name is Ryan Van Slyke and over the next 30 minutes we'll be taking a journey through Lent, through music, and through cello music. Um, first up is, there are two movements from J.S. Bach's second suite front accompanied cello in D minor. Um, I, I hope you enjoy it. I think this will be really contemplative. Mm-hmm. 
So to continue this journey through Lent, we're going to stay in the same country, in Germany. We're going to go forward about 300 years to one of my favorite composers, Paul Hindemith, and his sonata for unaccompanied cello, Opus 25, number 3, involves a lot of conflict within um, within the music, harmonically, and it explores you know, the range of the cello. I, I love this third movement from from the sonata or from you know from the sonata because it is filled with inherent ambiguity and there's no there's no certainty and when thinking about this and when playing this I often think of you know Jesus walking through the Garden of Gethsemane on Good Friday and agonizing over his both sheer humanity, but also his divine nature and his duty to, you know, his, um, you know, his, his walk to the cross and how difficult that is for him to wrestle with. So you'll hear some wandering, you'll hear a lot of dissonance, um, and there will be some resolution at the end. So I, so I hope you enjoy. This is Paul Hindemith's uh, Sweet Verona Company Cello.
I thought it wouldn't be a Lenten, um, uh, you know, fe festival of music if there weren't some hymns involved. So, here, so I'm going to share some of the three uh, three classic Lenten hymns. I hope you enjoy and feel free to sing along. If you've got the United Methodist hymnal, which if you don't, that's okay. This is number 290, Go to Dark Gethsemane. The next one is in a classic American hymn, um, number 292, What Wondrous Love Is This? Survey the Wonders Cross. <laughs> Thank you. 
last thing before we go to our last piece. Um, you know, I've been singing choir my whole life, and, and I often find that the text of the hymns and the text of pieces are just as important as the music. If you're looking for prayers or poems or things to ruminate on during Lenten season, you know, go, go online to the uh, United Methodist website. Um, there are lots of hymn websites out there. And just read. Um, you know, the, the text of these hymns. I find that they, that they're more insightful than, than we often notice when we're seeing them in church. Our, our last piece, um, before, before we go tonight, is, is a classic French art song by the composer Gabriel Faure. So we've gone from Germany to the U.S. and now to France. Um, it's called Après une rêve, or After a Dream. Basically, the story behind this song is a man or, a, you know, a person has this amazing experience that's it's like a mountaintop experience. And he sees the heavens and suddenly he wakes up from a dream and he so yearns to go back to that experience where he where he saw the heavens and where he saw light. I think many, many of us, and maybe the disciples after um, you know, Jesus' ascension, w wanted to see him again and, and wanted to be able to live in that kind of world um, with, with Jesus. So I, I hope you enjoy this, and I hope you've enjoyed all of this. You know, please feel free, you know, please join Calvary every single week for Lenten Church, for worship service and then on Wednesday nights for um, both the Lenten concert series as well as the Lenten Bible study as well. So our final piece tonight is Gabriel Foray's Opera and Rip.
Thank you all very much, and I hope you have a great night and thanks.